What is up guys, Dan for playbook.gg and in today's video, we're gonna take a more advanced look at the bench concept and why you should be changing the way you run it in Madden 20. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about the play bench. This is a concept that you can find in very many playbooks. I personally feel that this is a very underused concept in Madden because it's a simple one-two read against the cover two defense. A lot of players will try to run cover three and cover four. And if you have speed advantage at the inside receiver positions, especially the short out routes, you can really exploit the flat zone defenders with this. Um, but we want to talk about this as it pertains to the cover two, because this is a great call against the cover two defense. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to align our trips tight end, or our, I'm sorry, our tight offset tight end to one side or the other, does not matter which. Uh, we'll talk about things to look for in this as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the bench concept works. So um, the bench concept is designed to place the outside player in a cover two defense into a little bit of conflict. So uh, in this example, we've got Marlon Humphrey. Um, he is a, I believe, um, I don't think he has zoned out. Let me double check here. I uh, don't actually have a way of checking it, but I know that Earl Thomas does, and we'll take a look at him in just a minute. But you can see that we have the cloud flat defender here with the F over his head on the field. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to put him in a spot where he has to choose to guard the short out route or the deeper corner. So we'll start off with the cloud flat. And what you're going to notice is you're just going to take your little out route every single time underneath. That's a really easy five yards, right? So... It's super easy to get that five yards, but you know if they decide to take their cover two and shade it underneath into a hard flat, all of a sudden that five yard out route is being taken away. So you can't throw that, and now you've got to go ahead and throw your corner route out over the top in front of the cover two safety. So that's really the way that you run bench. It's a simple one, two read, high, low, sideline read, away from where players like to use are in the middle of the field against the cover two defense. However, there is a way that you guys can be running this that I think that you should be aware of, uh, and that is by smart routing your 10-yard out route. So you've got a deeper corner, and then you've got a 10-yard out route. And what you'll notice is that even if they stick in that cloud flat coverage, and um, I'll check the speed discrepancy here shortly because I know Gabriel's a lot faster than Broniker, but what you're going to notice is that if you can get that tight end out on his route into that corner route, the cloud flat will still continue to drop with that corner route. And you could turn your little five yard out route into a 10 yard out route, basically stealing for a first down. So you see how we do this here. It's a simple little throw out underneath of the cloud flat, really easy to make that throw. Now this only works to the, to the short side of the field. So if I were to go ahead and run this with the same concept working to the wide side of the field, what ends up happening is it will change the way that the cover two plays. And what's going to end up happening is you're going to notice this defender on Wuasor, he's going to play man-to-man -man match on the corner route while the cloud flat on the wide side will take Gabriel's route. So you're going to see how this works here. We go to throw this. You notice how it basically plays match coverage. Now you can't throw either of those two routes. So this will only work on the short side of the field. Now, the other thing you want to pay attention to with this is that if you have a actual vertical hook at the outside linebacker position, like for instance, on the short side of the field here with Wims and Robinson, what you'll notice is that sometimes he'll jam or cause it. So the out route gets out first on his route before the corner route. And that changes how the cloud flat plays on the short side of the field. So um, when you're facing a cover two, you need to pay attention to which side is the four man rush. Uh, typically speaking, if you can figure out which side has the linebacker blitzing, so that vertical hook doesn't play kind of this little tap dance game with Allen Robinson on the short side of the field, that'll allow you to throw this route combination. But sometimes you'll notice that if you go to the 10 yard variation of the out route on bench, that it'll kind of mess up how it plays. Now you can see here, we still fit that throw in. It's still there. You're still able to pick up seven, eight, 10 yards on that um, at times, but it does stand a chance that if that vertical hook does press him or prevents the slot receiver on this corner route from effectively getting into his route, that that cloud flat might be able to play both at the same time. Now, I did want to talk about zoned out defenders, players that have that passive abil ability to uh, basically get elite break on ball animations in zone coverage. And the Ravens do have one of those guys. It's their safety, Earl Thomas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Earl Thomas in at that spot, and I'm going to run that same cover too. 
This is something that you do need to be aware of uh, when you are running this concept because a cloud flat with a zone hawk can make your life a little bit tougher. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you what I mean here. We're going to run that exact same play bench. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to uh, move this guy out of the way so we're not playing that tap dancing game on the short side of the field with uh, the corner route. Naturally, if I were running this and I knew the right outside linebacker on the screen, Judon was blitzing, I would try to make sure that the right hash is my short hash and I would run it with Bronica and Gabriel. So what you're going to do here is you're going to notice that uh, Earl Thomas has zoned out. And if we go to run this concept, you may end up throwing a pick. So you're going to see right here, I go to throw this. See how Earl Thomas is able to kind of get there with that elite break on ball. If you don't have the zoned out ability, you probably won't break on this throw. So um, it's just something to kind of be aware of. Um, you know, if they have a zoned out player, might really struggle to get this throw in. Um, but again, you're going to see right here, we got to throw that. You could still kind of fit it in, but it definitely looks a lot scarier. So just something to consider is if they have a cloud flat defender with the zoned out ability um, and you go to run this 10 yard variation with the out route and try to steal an extra seven, eight yards against this route combination, you might get yourself in trouble. Um, but you can see right here that it's still pretty consistent. Um, just something to, to be aware of. So, you know, if you're having trouble fitting in the 10 yard smart routed out route against your cover two, just stick with your traditional bench concept. It's going to work for you. But you can just throw that ball right there on the sideline um, for, you know, six, seven yards. You know, you're not talking eight, nine, 10, you're talking six or seven. So um, just be aware of what your surroundings are. Don't force into ability areas of the field where, you know, you're not going to uh, have that success. And also guys, be aware that if you're going to run this to the wide side of the field, you need to have a player that can create separation. So what do I mean by that? Um, if you were running the tight offset tight end formation and you run the bench concept against cover two defense, make sure that you have an athlete out there that can run that route. So what do I mean by that? We go ahead and run the strong slot or the strong right package. Um, that's going to put a uh, wide receiver at that tight end spot. So that way, if you're facing the cover two defense now, you're at least trying to get somebody on that route in the case of Robinson that can at least beat that match linebacker. Now, I'm not saying your quarterback's gonna be talented enough to feather that throw away from man coverage over the top of the cloud flat and away from the deep half safety on the wide side of the field, but at least you can you can kind of run away from that that man-to-man -man match. So you're gonna see what I'm talking about right here. Uh, you see how how what we're talking about, we try to make that throw um, to that side. Now, actually right there, it didn't play the match coverage. Let me go ahead and flip this cover two real quick. Uh, so we should see that here. So. Um, you see right here when we go to this route combination that right inside linebacker should play man-to-man. -man. Uh, he actually doesn't there. So that's going to allow us to, to fit that throw in a little bit easier to the wide side of the field. So you learned something here in this video. Actually, I learned that with you right here. Uh, you take the tight end off the field and all of a sudden it starts to play the, the combination completely differently. Whereas now if I were to go ahead and try to run Broniker, who's now on the left side of the field, I'm going to assume that it's going to play that match coverage on the backside. So let's see how this how this works out here. Just guessing here at the end of this video. Yep, it does. You can see that very clearly. Um, it tried to, and then uh, it dropped off. So um, yeah, I guess we learned something here in this video together. But long story short, if you're trying to run the bench concept, it's great against your cover too. But don't be afraid to smart route that out route because most players in this meta use their abilities at their safety and linebacker positions for the run first approach that so many players take. And that's going to allow you to really throw that ball outside and pick up, uh, you know, you'll be stealing if they're running the cover two defense, which is pretty popular this year, especially for those that like to run the DB sting to buzz out of the one, four, six. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.